In this short video, we're going to show you how easy it is to create text in Vectric software. So let's just delete the text here and we'll close out. So to access the Create Text tool, you need to come over to your Design tab on the left and under the Create Vectors section, you're going to use this option here to draw text. And when you click on that, that will open up the Create Text tool. So working our way at the top of the form, we're going to use the Text option here. Next part of the form here is our text entry field. So this is where we type in the text that we want to create. And if you felt that this field was a little too small, you could use this larger edit option here. You can input your text or right click and paste text into this field to apply that. So we'll just press cancel here. And for this demonstration, we're just going to use the standard text entry field over here. Now you'll notice in our view, we have a dashed blue box. Now this represents our text box. So we can get a good indicator of the height of our box. We can also see how our text is going to be aligned with this blue square here. Okay, so the height can be controlled precisely over here using this field. And then the text alignment, which we can currently see is in the center, can be controlled using the text alignment radio options where we have left, center, and right. And we'll come and look at those in a second. So let's start by creating some text. So in our entry field here, we're going to type in the word Vectric, like so. And you can see that we're able to see our text created within our view here. And then the size, the look, and the position of our text is all based on all of the options that we've got within our create text form here, which we will discuss each option as we get through this video. Now, whilst we are in the text entry field mode, uh, we can see that the Vectric text is underlined in red. So Vectric's dictionary is telling us that there is an incorrect word here, we may want to check this out. Now we know that this is how we spell Vectric, but if we right click and go to Spell Checker, we can see that we can either add this as a new word to our dictionary, or we could use the dictionary's recommended word, which it thinks we should have written electric. In this case, we know that we want to add the word Vectric, so we're going to add that word to our dictionary, and you'll see now it's not underlined. If we wanted to remove a word, you could right click, go to the spell checker, and then use the option to remove word, in which case it thinks it's a spelling error again. Now in this case, let's just add that back in because we know that this is spelled correctly. So let's just work our way through the form. So the next section is all about fonts. We have true type font and we have single line font. Now true type font are fonts that are already installed on your computer. And you can access them using this drop down option here. And you can see if I use the scroller of my mouse, I can scroll through the different fonts. If I wanted to see my text in line with the different fonts, I could click on one. And then using my down arrow keys, I can scroll through each of those fonts. But I'm able to see what that font looks like in my job, which is super handy. Now, if I knew the name of the font that I wanted to use, for example, if I wanted to use the font impact, I could press I on my keyboard and it will take me straight to the I section of that drop down, which I can then go ahead and keep this as it is, or I could continue scrolling through the other I's and then it will just go through the rest of the alphabet. Now by default, the software will save the last five previously used fonts, which is really useful. And you can access those at the top of your list in your font drop down options over here. So you can see my last three fonts that I've used are displayed here. And if you wanted to edit the amount of fonts that it shows, you can go to edit and then go to options and then you can change the settings in there. Then we have single line fonts. So single line fonts are fonts that we include in the software. And these are perfect for quick engraving. And you can see we've got various fonts available. You can scroll through those just like you can with the true type fonts. So let's just go back to the true type font option. 
So let's have a look at some more options. So working our way down the form, we've got bold and italic. So bold will make your text bold. Italic will turn it into italics. You could do a combination of the two, so bold and italic. And then just uncheck to deactivate those options. Then we have the text alignment option. So we're currently aligning our text from the center. So text has been drawn from this center point here. We could have it so that it's drawn from the left, the right. We could put it back to the center again. Here we have the option to adjust the text height. So here you could be very precise and say you want that at one inch. You could change that field again and say, actually, I want that at half an inch. Alternatively, you could come over here and you could just look at dynamically changing that. And then we have the option to adjust the anchor points. So if you wanted to be really precise and have the text anchored at a particular position, you can do that by typing that in the form. Alternatively, you could just move this around. You could also look at altering that using the fields that we've got here also. So there's lots of different ways that you can really control your text. We've also got this rotate option as well, so you can rotate the text and then again you can move that around if you wanted to. You can add in additional text to this and you'll see that it will do that at the rotated bounds like we've got there. So let's just uh, delete that out and then what we'll do is we'll just rotate that background and if we wanted to be precise we could just set that to zero like so. And that's pretty much how you create text and then once you're happy you can just simply close out you can take your text you can move it around you can size it like so again you can rotate it and all whilst this is still a text entity you're still able to edit the text so for example if i wanted to move that over here but we wanted to add the word software whilst that's selected if we go back into the draw text tool you'll see that that text is now in the text entry field and then we can continue to adjust our text like so and so that's how you use the create text tool thank you for watching